Okay, here's one that the guys working on the exciters might enjoy. Um, I work on multiple projects all the time, so it's nice when you can combine them. But this new pulse circuit that uh, I found and I've been working on works wirelessly with an exciter. And uh, what I'm going to show here is this is just a piece of copper, uh, a thin copper sheet metal here. Uh, going into the circuit through an Avon Minkle plug. Diode goes this way, diode goes that way. It's just a one wire feed. And the energy is going to be absorbed by that little sheet of copper from this exciter and run this circuit and start this pulse motor up from a dead stop. And uh, I was glad to see that the frequencies don't interfere with one another. This runs in the megahertz range, this runs in kilohertz range, and they're compatible. Let me turn this on. I'll show you how it works here. Okay, watch this now. There it goes. And that's being fed wirelessly from the, that exciter tower right there. You can see that light's on there. That's 110 volt uh, Lights of America. Running off a 9 volt rechargeable battery. It's a simple uh, Slayer exciter. Uh, this was my mini Tesla coil one that I, I'm actually using on the boat. And it's just picking it up off this uh, copper plate that's in proximity to that. And you can see this motor is just revved way on up here. And that LED is just going to town. Let me stop it again. I'll show how it works here. See that blink. And there goes the rotor. Faster and faster and faster. And like I say, this is a, it was interesting to me that the frequencies did not interfere with one another. And like I say, this is running in megahertz range, and this is running in kilohertz range, and they're compatible. And this is the energy coming off this plate here. And that's being absorbed uh, through the air. There's no link between these two at all. This is the wireless field around this exciter, just like a Tesla coil. And uh, the circuit's hot, too. Every part of the circuit is hot. And it doesn't affect it. I mean, it's not stopping the motor at all. I can touch this anywhere. And uh, it doesn't stop the motor. It doesn't affect the motor whatsoever. And it's just running up a storm. And that's wirelessly off this... Uh, pick up from this uh, sheet of uh, copper coming off the energy off that little uh, exciter coil. So Anyway, that's kind of fun to, to find out that that worked, that they're compatible, and that this would self-start. And that was another thing that I, I really like about this circuit, is it will self-start. It starts kicking itself around and the frequencies don't interfere with one another. And that's all wireless. You know, that's there's no connection between these two at all. It's just coming through the air. And that's being absorbed by that uh, copper sheet right there. I've tried different towers and different receivers for this. They all work, but a, simp a simple sheet of um, sheet metal like that uh, copper, aluminum, whatever, will pick up this energy and put it into whatever you want to put it into. So anyway, that's the, <laughs> that's the little uh, combination of an exciter circuit and this self-starting pulse motor circuit. Thanks for watching.